All right, you're looking at the P7 P55DE Pro. Very nice motherboard. Uh, again, I've been reviewing the P7 P55 line uh, all day today. There are a lot of different models. There's actually 12 in the line, so make sure you look up the right ones. Use the compare feature on the ASUS website to figure out which one you want. Now, this uh, is the Pro version, so it's the P7 P55DE uh, Pro version, and it's basically um, a slightly muted version of the higher end ones. It kind of gets rid of the extras that not a, you wouldn't need in a workstation or in a, something that's going to be maintained professionally by an IT department. It's basically uh, a little bit simpler uh, and with some of the less features, but you still get all the quality, you still get all the overclocking ability, um, and you have a lot of great stuff. So let's talk really quickly. First of all, take you on a tour here. Uh, we'll start with the socket. It is an 1156, so it will support your Core i3s, your i5s, and your i7s. So no matter what level of performance you need, uh, you can put the appropriate your processor. Also, if you look over here, uh, 12 plus two phase uh, VRM. So the voltage regulators have 12 phases. That means uh, more phases, means cleaner power, it means lower temperatures, it means a better overclock. So it's important. Uh, the rest of the hardware on here is incredible. Uh, lower RDSON MOSFETs uh, underneath these uh, very nice uh, heat sinks, uh, ferrite core chokes, Japanese uh, conductive polymer capacitors, all that stuff is on board. Also, uh, this CPU socket basically overclocks itself with the appropriate uh, ASUS software, the uh, ASUS auto tuning, the turbo key, or the CPU level up. I mean, it basically will automatically overclock for you. Or if you want to take it full manual, use the Turbo V uh, and do even better. Uh, over here, up to 16 gigabytes of DDR3, uh, 1600 megahertz native, or up to 2200 uh, with overclocking. So that's a lot. Uh, also, lots of SATA ports. Uh, if you look down over here, uh, you have uh, four here, an additional two over here, and then these are the very, very nice SATA, uh, SATA 6 gigabit per second. So very, very fast, twice as fast uh, as these. These will support RAID 0, 1, 5, and 10. Uh, these will do 1 and 0. Uh, so you can do RAID arrays on that. You have uh, a bunch of USB headers. If you look down here, uh, you have three USB 2.0 headers. That's an additional six ports. Uh, plus, I believe there is another six ports on the back as well uh, as USB 3.0. So look at that. Uh, those blue ones right over there, those are SATA. I'm sorry, uh, USB 3.0. They're 10 times faster than USB 2.0. So this one over here uh, is 480 megabit per second. Uh, this one over here is 4.8 gigabit per second. That is a huge increase in performance. Uh, 7.1 channel HD audio, gigabit Ethernet, Firewire, eSATA, uh, SPDIF in both uh, the analog coax and the optical digital SPDIF uh, Toslink cable. And then you have the PS2s in case, I don't know, you're using your grandma's keyboard and mouse. Uh, those are also on there. Uh, let's talk a little bit now about uh, video cards and PCI Express stuff. Uh, you do have uh, three PCI Express X1 slots um, for sound cards and peripherals. You have two standard PCI slots. And then the most important part uh, is you have two PCI Express X16 2.0s. They do run at full bandwidth uh, if you have one card populated, or they bifurcate down uh, if you have two. So basically, you can run X16, or if you want to run uh, SLI or Crossfire, it's going to run X8, X8. But of course, it's 2.0, so it's not really going to lose you uh, any performance in particular. But uh, it will bifurcate down, so you won't have the full bandwidth. Uh, and that's basically it. Very, very nice motherboard. A lot of good stuff uh, on here. A lot of over uh, high end features. Um, if you want to overvolt your memory up here at the top, there's a little switch here. It's kind of for like overclocking on the fly. It'll basically crank up the voltage uh, on your memory with one button push. Uh, you also have uh, basically all the other types of features that you would expect to find in a high end ASUS motherboard, just like this one. Uh, you have the fan expert, automatically tunes uh, your fans for you, basically makes them quiet or loud depending on uh, how much heat it's providing, uh, pushing out. You have the ASUS EPU, it helps you pr uh, save power. Q connectors help you uh, hook up the front panel connectors faster. The crash free BIOS, the easy flash, uh, which lets you update the, uh, the BIOS uh, from a flash drive very quickly and safely. Uh, a lot of really good stuff on here. Uh, but again, they backed off on some of the enthusiast features. Like there isn't uh, like the buttons here, power and reset buttons. There's not like huge overclocking features. Uh, because again, this is a professional series board. So it's for workstations, uh, editing, um, you know, en engineering stations, CAD, uh, Maya, etc., will all work really well on this board, and that's basically who it's designed for. Very reliable, very robust, uh, and plenty of features. It's the P7 P55 DE Pro uh, from ASUS. If you have any questions on it, feel free to email me, and I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the ASUS P7 P55 DE Pro ATX motherboard, type in A455 2929 into any major search engine. For Computer TV, I'm Albert. Thank you.